The Georgetown Hoyas defeat the South Florida Bulls 76 to 73 in the Jamaica Classic on Sunday. It was a thrilling game. My Georgetown was down 11, 43 to 32, and Georgetown just kept competing, never gave up, and found a way to win this game. My heart was racing so much during this game. And I was just so frustrated for so much of the game, but it was all worth it to watch this game because Georgetown found a way to win. James Akinjo hit the game tying shot down 63 to 60. And if South Florida had just fouled, then I'm not sure if Georgetown would have been able to get that shot off. But Georgetown made the shot, and that was a great shot by James Akinjo. So David Collins for South Florida was just so hard to stop. He made, got scored 21 points, made four or five from three. Alex. Yetna got 17 rebounds, 5 offensive rebounds. They did a pretty George on a decent job defending TJ Lang on the perimeter. He made 3 of 9 from 3, 3 of 12 from the field. Uh, South Florida, the turnovers, they're definitely taking advantage of points off turnovers. That's uh, something that Georgia really needs to clean up. South Florida outscored them 24 to 13, points off turnovers. Second chance points, South Florida won 12 to 8, but in the paint, Georgetown won that 36 to 28. South Florida shot 36 percent from the field, nine of 25 from three. The shooting percentage is not really Georgetown's problem. The opponent shooting percentage is not the problem for Georgetown. It's just the second chance points and the runouts, the easy shots. Uh, and Georgetown shooting 40, shot 43 percent, made five of 18 from three. Had 11 assists, 15 turnovers. Although it seemed like Georgetown really cleaned up the turnovers in the last 10 minutes of the second half. Georgetown was down five. Jesse Govan hit a huge, a couple huge threes to keep to put them to come help Georgetown come back. He was huge. He scored 20. He made 10 of 19 from the field. Made two of four from three. Jamarco Pickett. He, he's really got to work on his offense, but he did have three blocks. James Akinjo had five assists, six turnovers. He scored 14 points on five of 12. And Josh LeBlanc's been consistently giving Georgetown a nice boost off the bench. He scored nine points. Georgetown made a lot, mostly most of their free throws until the end of the game. Missed a few at the end of the game. They made 21 of 27 from the free throw line. So Georgetown it was a win over American Athletic team. So Florida, they are really tough, really physical defensive team. It was no easy game for Georgetown at all. Come back from double digits and win this game. That was that was impressive. Georgetown is 2-0 in intense games. Central Connecticut, I don't even want to talk about that game. I know it was a close game, but Georgetown played so poorly in that game. Georgetown was lucky not to lose that game. But I'm talking about the power opponents, power opponents in Illinois and South Florida. It's impressive for Georgetown to beat Illinois and South Florida in the same week. They lost to Loyola Marymount, but Loyola Marymount is 5-0. So Georgetown's definitely making, been making progress.